thank you very much. My name is Lucy Massoud and I bring solidarity from the Fire Brigade Union. One year on from the devastating events of Grenfell Tower and still over half of all households made homeless by that fire have yet to be housed. One year on and 72 lives lost, a community displaced, livelihoods destroyed and survivors left traumatised. One year on and the neglect by which the survivors have been treated has only highlighted the absolute contempt that this government see them in. So today, the Fire Brigade Union stand hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder with you all. I've been a firefighter for 12 years, and what I saw at Grenfell Tower was like something I've never seen before, and inshallah, I will never see again. Fire, that fire on that night was like no other. Something went seriously wrong. Fires like that do not and should not happen in this country. So we have to ask the question why? Why did Grenfell have flammable cladding on it? Why did Grenfell have combustible windows? And why the hell were the concerns of the residents of Grenfell completely ignored by the council of Kensington and Chelsea? And I think we all know the answer to that question. It's because those residents were social housing tenants and this government and that council don't give a damn about them. The victims of Grenfell Tower never stood a chance. The second rich people in Kensington and Chelsea decided that they no longer wanted to look up at an ugly building. But Grenfell now has to be the point where we recognise collectively the criminally destructive effects of British class inequality yes. and housing inequality. Yes. When inequality is permitted to flourish, it affects bear down all the more to those at the bottom and especially the vulnerable. What we currently see in this country is that the privileged can buy their safety, that the privileged can buy their security, the privileged can buy their legal representation and the rest of us are ignored and forgotten, none more so than those 72 victims from Grenfell Tower. I believe I believe that if it was down to this lousy government and that rotten Prime Minister across the road, Grenfell would be kicked into the long grass. If it was down to this Prime Minister, Britain would be forced to forget that one year ago, to, uh, one year ago on Thursday, 72 men, women and children burned to death in their beds. In their beds. This cannot be allowed to happen. We will not forget Grenfell. The despicable actions of Kensington and Chelsea before and after the fire will not be forgotten. And those 72 lives will never be forgotten. But if one good thing has come from Grenfell, it's to see the local community come together to support each other and to see communities from across the country reach out. After all, it was our Muslim brothers and sisters who ran into Grenfell Tower on the night of the fire, banging on people's doors, alerting them and saving many more people. It was our Jewish brothers and sisters who arrived the next day bringing some supplies for the survivors. It was our white working class brothers and sisters who mobilised around the country demanding justice. And it was our gay brothers and sisters who marched in solidarity at the Pride Parade a few days after the fire. We all must lead a fight to ensure that those responsible are brought to justice. We must fight to ensure that that kind of fire never takes place in this country or any other country again. And we must bring the true culprits to justice and not allow cheap opportunists to distract us from what actually caused that fire and who is actually responsible for those deaths. And we must fight. Fight for the right for someone, anyone, living in council housing to be able to sleep safe in their beds at night just as someone living in a mansion in Chelsea can. 
And finally, finally, before I go, I've said this before and I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. Grenfell Tower, that mass grave standing tall in West London, is a symbol of this country's failures. It's a sign of everything that's wrong with this country and how we treat our social housing tenants. And every politician in this country, that rotten prime minister across the road, should be dragged to that building by their noses to have a look at what their decisions have caused and the results of their decision making. Thank you very much. And justice for Grenfell.